Hey everybody, this is Joby, and today I want to show you a different market that you can uh, make money with. It is the Powerful Assault Armor. Okay, so we're here in Imperial City, and we're in the sewers right now. Up top, not looking good for reds, it's yellow. But I'm in no CP Imperial City. I build for it, and uh, yesterday we had a great time. And uh, the thing that we're going to sell is this, and I'm going to show you how to get it. So we'll go to weapons, main hand, ice staff of the powerful assault. Now this thing can go for any for, for anywhere from 500,000 to like 2 million because it's one of the top two tanking sets. And I have the ice staff and I have the lightning staff and I also have the sword and I have the resto. And then I also have the shield, one handed and the shield. Now I got all these from Telvar. I didn't farm any of them. They're very difficult to get. In the reward bags, uh, all you have to do to get in here is you just go to campaigns, and then you go to Imperial City. I come to no CP Imperial City. It's a lot less laggy, and uh, I think it's more fun. Okay, so where we're going to go is if you come in, there's the banker right there. This way, actually, where that bulletin board is, we're going to head this way. And also, you need to have Telvar. As you can see, I have 24,155 Telvar. Um, I had like 80,000 and I, I bought a bunch of bags, but you don't have to buy a bunch. You can come in and do those quests to farm the timber crow costume. And then once after you, once you, um, just even get a little bit of Telvar, you can go to this guy. So it's not up there on the stairs. It's over here. And his name is Scorif Bear Blood. Come on, you milk drinker. Let me show you what you're going to buy. Store. These are the shoulders, and then Black Rose equipment, Galarians, and then, you know, the monster helmet shoulders from in here. Imperial City Mystery Coffer. This is 10K, so it's all those different shoulders. Imperial Physique, Mordoria Service, and then Attack Phoenix, Powerful Assault. So I'm going to go ahead and buy two of these, okay? All right. And then open these up. Let's look. What did I get? Spin the wheel. We all know I'm a degenerate gambler. Necklace of Powerful Assault. I seem to get a lot of those. And Boots of Powerful Assault. Now I have both those pieces if we look in my sets. Imperial City. We got a bunch of uh, monster masks yesterday. I ended up getting uh, at least one of every one, which is great. Alright, so you can see there's still quite a bit of gear that I need. But it's okay, because I have all three staffs. Well, I'm missing, yeah. I have all three staffs. I have a one-handed sword. I have a shield, necklace, and ring. So I'm good to go. And then uh, I'll be able to use Yolnokrins for the body pieces. So anything I get, though, will make it cheaper. Right now it's 46 for me to reconstruct, although I didn't crush the stuff up because I'm going to put it on my tank. That necklace, the necklace of powerful assault I just got, that's 30 or 40,000 easy, okay? Because it's necklace. It's jewelry and weapons are what people want for tanking. And uh, most tanks are going to be using Yolokrins and powerful assault. And it is some good stuff. Let's look at what it does. I staff. Two items. One, one, six, four, maximum health. Three items. Ten, fifty-eight, maximum stamina. Four items. One, twenty-four, weapon and spell damage. Five items when you cast an assault ability while in combat. You and up to five mem five group members within 10 meters gain 296 weapon and spell damage for 10 seconds. Okay, so it's going to give a lot of, you know, spell damage to your group for 10 seconds. And it doesn't talk about uh, there's any kind of cooldown or anything, which is kind of crazy. And I staff for tanks, you know, that's the one everybody wants. I was just going to use my lightning staff, but it doesn't matter. You know, it didn't matter at the time because the I staff, just when I got it yesterday, I was so surprised. But anyway, all you have to do is earn some Telvar. You can do the quests when nobody's in here and then just let it build up. And once you get 3,000, you can come in here and just buy one of those powerful assault uh, coffers. Open it up, see what you got. If it's the ice staff, of course, you can sell it. But any of the pieces will sell. People will buy it. Just depends. And you just if you're in a trade guild, you can sell it in there. If you run around and look in like Mournhold, how much is a powerful assault ice staff? You will see the most ridiculous prices. I've seen them for five million. I mean, it's not going to sell, but still, you could definitely get a million for it. Uh, I wouldn't ever. I wouldn't advise going into chat and trying to sell it that way because you get uh, 
man, talk about uh, low ball central, you know. People and people are like, oh, I'll give you 10, 10 gold for it. I'll give you a potato. I'll give you corn. They're just trolling. And uh, trust me, it's worth a lot because this is the this is the meta. Yolnokren and powerful assault, powerful assault weapons and jewelry and Yolnokren heavy armor is what people are running. And, uh, you know, if you're a tank, you know that. And if you want to be a tank, that's a great way to do it. You can always use a lightning staff or even a resto on the back bar. And one of those you'll get, you know, before you get the eye staff. I just looked out, just RNG, and uh, I always do this. You know, I don't use my tail bar for anything. I have all this other stuff from in here, all those uh, polymorphs and all that. So the best way is to join a trade guild now as far as, you know, to sell the staff. But as far as playing PvP and stuff like that, if you're just, like, totally scared to come in here, then, okay, forget it. You know, I mean, I understand, like feel nervous or whatever um you know if you join a guild uh that says that they do pvp and then they will teach you how to do it we came in here yesterday we had uh probably 11 or 12 people at one time and we were smoking everybody we were doing so good getting our revenge on those werewolves that always hang out in here and uh kill two or three players that run together they didn't have a chance so it was great everybody built for it and uh represent because it's just a game and you know i mean you don't really die or anything and uh actually i didn't even die one time it was fantastic and uh i made about fifteen thousand telvar maybe this isn't for everybody i understand but if you do have telvar if you come in for the white strikes mayhem event buy those coffers and uh sell them in the trade guild it's a great way for a side hustle and it's only for some people i understand that but that's good because if everybody could do it then there'd be no market so this, you know, video is just to let you know there's another way to make gold. There's so many ways to make gold in this game. It is, like, crazy. And for me, I'm just really into crafting now. I do 14 characters, as everyone knows and has heard so many times, and you're all sick of it. But I don't care. And I'm making 2 million gold a month just off crafting and then, uh, you know, have lots of money to do all kinds of stuff. And I don't have to worry about selling things anymore. So I'm very happy. Thank you. All right, well, that's about it. Uh, please give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you have any questions about what I was talking about, I can clarify. Or if, uh, you know, you want to know something about PvP or whatever. I'm not very good at PvP, but I do know how to play. And I know all the uh, the ways to uh, survive and stuff. I have real high ping. I really only do well in groups. But uh, I love it. I love it so much. And we're having a White Strikes Mayhem event, which used to be called May Mid-Year Mayhem. It will be coming up uh, probably in July sometime, I would imagine, because uh, it's going to be Zila Zenithar, and then it will be White Strikes Mayhem. Join me in Discord, the most chill Discord server on the planet. There's a link in the description, and if you're not doing anything at 15 p.m. Eastern Time, follow me on Twitch. Upper Echelon Mediocrity is the name of the channel. Just one word, have a lot of fun in there. Do PvP, PvE, all kinds of stuff. If you're on Xbox, North American server, you can join my guild. My guild's name is Upper Echelon Mediocrity. Just like the YouTube channel. Right now we have 481 total members, one member pending, and 38 members online. Helpful, friendly people. Lots of people to help you get your goals done here in the game. Just post in chat that you need something. Send me a message in the uh, in game, and uh, I will help you get with we're not in the guild finder so you need to send me a message on xbox my name is coyote c-h-a-o-t-e-y and i'll get you in as soon as time permits all right so until that time let's get paid